SIM card, no airtime, no Wi-Fi, and yet it makes calls. This is not science fiction. It's not Elon Musk. It's not a Silicon Valley prototype. It's the work of a teenage boy in rural Namibia. They called him crazy. His classmates laughed. His teacher doubted. But one day, he walked to a science fair with a device made from scrap. One that defied everything we thought we knew about communication. His name is Simon Petrus, just 19 years old, from a small village in northern Namibia. He built something that shocked his entire country and the world. A phone that doesn't need a SIM card, it doesn't use airtime, no internet, no fancy tech, just pure radio frequency, turned into voice communication through handmade circuits and repurposed parts. Using radio wave technology, Simon Invention can connect two people across town without cell towers, airtime, or data plans. It's more than a phone. It's a potential solution to one of Africa's biggest challenges, connectivity in rural communities. Simon won national science competition. Telecom companies noticed. Headlines followed. He was hailed as Namibia's next great inventor. Some called him the African Elon Musk. Others, just that boy with the magic phone. But genius doesn't always guarantee success. Simon struggled with academics. He failed grade 12 and had to rewrite it through, through night school. His invention, it was never patented, never funded, and today, in 2025, Simon is still unemployed. His prototype sits on a dusty shelf. Telecom authorities told his invention. Promises were made and quietly broken. But this story isn't over. Simon is still building, still dreaming, still proving that innovation doesn't require millions, just courage, vision, and belief. Imagine what could happen if the world gave people like Simon a real chance, not just applause, support, tools, mentorship, and funding.